Well, hello, church. Good Thursday. It's good to be back with you for another devotional Bible study. We're going to continue our discussion today of the providence of God. And you may remember from last time that the providence of God is that part of God that uh, it's his applied sovereignty, as we said. It's that, that God is sovereign. He's in absolute control. And in the midst of that sovereignty, it's not an isolated, remote sovereignty, but it's an active sovereignty, that God acts his will out on humanity, out on the world, and in the course of that, he provides for everything that we need to accomplish his will along the way. So the the providence of God. Um, I, I want to talk today about uh, another aspect of the providence of God that I think that you'll really find encouraging. And that is that within the word providence is the concept that God sees ahead of what we're going to need. He sees ahead. The the word providence comes from the combination of a couple words, pro and video, or from which we get our word video. So video meaning we see and pro meaning before. So really at the core of the word providence is that God sees beforehand what it is we're going to need and he provides it at just the right time. And we can live in that blessing in such an exciting exciting way. It just brings so much release and assurance. If we go back to Genesis chapter 22, the passage that we looked at last time to talk about the providence of God, uh, you know, just a recap. So, so God calls Abraham to take his son Isaac to Mount Moriah to offer him as a sacrifice. And of course, there are features and elements of that that we don't have time to unpack and many questions that should be asked and can be answered. But, you know, just, just for our purposes, I want, us, I want us to look at an exchange that happened between Abraham and Isaac as they, as they reached the mountain. So we'll we'll start in verse 6. It says, Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and placed it on his son Isaac, and he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them went on together, Isaac spoke up and said to his father, Father Abraham, Father, yes, my son, Abraham replied. The fire and wood are here, Isaac said, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? What a question. I mean, Isaac had no idea what was about to happen. So it's a great question. I, I see the wood, I, I see the fire, I, I see the knife, but I don't see the sacrifice. Listen to Abraham's answer in verse 8. Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went on together. What a trusting confidence in the providence of God. God himself will provide. He will provide. Now we looked last time and saw that he did provide. But I wanted us to back up and and, and look at the way that Abraham was living all along in his confidence in the providence of God. It's like, oh, he'll come through. God will come through at exactly the right time with exactly what it is that we need. And he was just living in the knowledge that God would do that. And uh, Abraham, he didn't need the ram until it was time for it to be needed. And I I noticed that Abraham did not seem to rationalize along the way. You know, he didn't leave, just didn't set out for Mount Moriah with Isaac and say, you know, Maybe, maybe I didn't hear properly. Maybe, you know, this seems so hard. This, maybe this really isn't God. And sometimes when we face um, obstacles along the way in our walk with the Lord, we begin to doubt or rationalize the very clear stirrings and callings that we received along the way. And my encouragement for you today is just to focus on verse 8. God himself will provide the lamb. 
pro video, seeing in advance. God sees. But you know, Abraham had to get to Mount Moriah, and he had to climb Mount Moriah, and he had to get to the point where he needed the ram before the ram was provided. If we want to fully enjoy the providence of God, then we must completely entrust our future to him, knowing that he will provide exactly what we need exactly when it's needed. So are you nervous about the future? Are you anxious about tomorrow or what tomorrow will bring or next month or next year or whenever? Well, my encouragement to you is to trust in the providence of God. It creates a remarkable kind of peace and assurance about the future because God, our loving Heavenly Father, will provide exactly whatever we need exact, at exactly the time we need it as we live in the center of his perfect will for our lives. Let's pray. Lord, it's a good day to be your sons and daughters, and we rejoice in your loving care. We rejoice that you're in control, that you are sovereign, that nothing surprises you, that nothing is greater than you. We rejoice that you do have a good and perfect will for the earth and for us as individuals. And so we, we surrender to it, Lord, knowing that along the way that you will cause us to have exactly what we need to do exactly what you call us to do. And I thank you for that remarkable assurance that comes from trusting in your providence, Lord. Thank you, Father, again for your watchful care over us as a church, for your fulfillment of Psalm 91 over us. May the blessing of the Lord just continue to fall on us as we seek you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And we pray this today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you, church. I hope to see you again. And in the meantime, remember to live by faith, but walk in wisdom. God bless.